Hi there. In today's video, you will learn how you can create this super creative PowerPoint presentation with folding cards. To create this awesome folding card effect, we'll be using Morph Transition and 3D Rotation options. And feel free to download today's tutorial slides for absolutely free. All of the information is in the video description. And if you are enjoying this video, please give it a like and subscribe so that you don't miss my future videos. Thank you so much. All right. And first of all, let's go to view and let's turn on the slide guides so that we can see where the center of the slide is. And next, let's insert a simple rectangle. Let's make sure it is aligned to the middle of the slide. And now, in order to create these beautiful folding cards, we'll have to use 3D rotation options. So let's just right click on our little rectangle, and let's go to Format Shape. Here we can find 3D rotation options. And let's choose Perspective Relax Preset. And now let's click on the Y rotation handles, and let's see how the rectangle is rotating. As you can see, right now the rectangle is rotating around its middle axis. And in order to create the folding card effect, we will have to adjust the rotation axis, so that the rectangle rotates around its top edge. And to do that, let's first remove the rotation effect, and let's duplicate the rectangle. We can remove the fill, and leave only the outlines for the duplicate rectangle. Let's bring the duplicate rectangle next to the first one, and let's group both of them into one group. Alright, and now let's make sure that the rectangle group is selected, and let's get back to the 3D rotation options once again. Let's choose Perspective Relax Preset. Let's insert 120 degrees for the perspective, which is actually the maximum value that PowerPoint allows. And now let's click on the Y rotation handles, and let's see how the rectangle group is rotating. As you can see, it looks like as if the green rectangle is rotating around its top edge, and this is what we want. Let's as well remove the lines from the top rectangle, so that only the bottom rectangle remains visible. Okay, so now the rotation axis is set correctly, and let's leave 0 degrees for Y rotation for now. And next, let's just type in, top, into the green rectangle. Later on we'll create one more rectangle group, and call it bottom. Before we continue, let's add a subtle inside shadow, to the green rectangle. This way, our rectangle will have a bit more depth. Nice, and now as I mentioned, let's create one more rectangle group, and let's call it bottom. Let's make sure that this time, we place the transparent rectangle below the visible rectangle, this way the rotation effect will look right. Let's make sure that both of the rectangles are grouped, and let's add a perspective relaxed rotation preset to them as well. 120 degrees for the perspective, and 0 degrees for the Y rotation. Alright, so now both of the rectangle groups are ready, and we can animate them with the morph transition. Let me just quickly insert a text box with a slide number, so that it would be easier for you to see, how we transition from one slide, to the next one. Now let's duplicate the slide that we have just created, let's update the slide number, and let's make sure that both of these slides are using Morph Transition. I'm using Slide Transition Duration of 1 second, feel free to choose any duration that you like. Ok, so now let's go to slide number 1, let's select the top rectangle group, and let's adjust the Y rotation. Let's insert 90 degrees for the Y rotation, this way the rectangle will be facing the ground, and will become invisible. And now for the bottom rectangle group, let's rotate it into the opposite direction, by inserting 270 degrees for the Y rotation. It should become invisible as well. Alright, and now let's check out the slide transition, from slide number 1 to slide number 2 on the full screen. Nice, as you can see the rectangles are unfolding, once we transition from one slide to another, all thanks to Morph Transition and 3D Rotation options. However, we have to do one more thing to make it more realistic. 
Let's make sure that we are on slide number one, and let's select both of the rotated rectangle groups, and let's make sure that both of them are sitting on top of each other, in the middle of the slide. And let's check out the transition once again. This time both of the rectangles are unfolding from the center, and this is what we are looking for. Well done! And now, let me add a couple of cards, at the top and at the bottom, to give this slide a more completed look. And by the way, you can always use Ctrl Shift C and Ctrl Shift V to quickly copy and paste the style, from one shape, to another. On the first slide, let's make sure that we bring these additional cards to the center of the slide. And now let's enjoy the final result. Congratulations my friend! Now you know, how you can create this awesome creative PowerPoint presentation, with folding cards. Feel free to create as many folding cards as needed, in my original presentation I have three. Feel free to download today's tutorial slides for absolutely free and check out everything yourself in greater detail. All of the information is in the video description. And if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe, so that you don't miss my future videos. Thank you so much, and until next time.